Hello and greetings from Iceland, but I have some news today that could uh, easily grow into something big, but like I mentioned in my last update yesterday, it would not surprise me if the Grimshotten Volcano would be the next one to erupt, and uh, less than 24 hours after that upload, a level of uncertainty has been declared up there due to a glacier flood that has started, and uh, as history shows us, it could easily trigger the volcano, but uh, those floods come every now and then. It's 11 months since the last one, and this is a very powerful geothermal area, and in fact uh, hotter now than it has been for the last several decades. And this flood is simply just the meltwater that uh, accumulates in the caldera under the glacier. And when the water reaches a level of a little under uh, 1400 meters above sea level, it uh, floods. But those floods have been getting smaller and uh, more frequent. They used to start when the water reached the elevation of 1500 meters or before the eruption in 1996 that actually changed the landscape under there. So nowadays the flood starts at uh, less than 1400 meter elevation. And that is good news for our bridges and the roads that uh, rarely get uh, damaged nowadays. But the big issue is that all this pressure release as the water flows from the caldera, can trigger a subglacial eruption, like in 2004, only days after the flood, but the last Grimshotten eruption was however in 2011, and they come every 5-10 years, and scientists have been saying for years that Grimshotten volcano is ready for the next eruption, and uh, like I showed you in my last video, there is noticeable uh, increase in seismic activity up there. But then, this might be another false alarm. But I made a similar video in November last year, during the last flood. But things were a bit hectic back then. But that flood uh, didn't uh, trigger the volcano. Even though our scientists had said that uh, it's 50-50 if Grimshot erupts or not. And that was 11 months ago. And since then... Even more unrest has been detected there, and uh, what we know so far is that the ice cap has dropped by 4 meters, the water is on the way down, but the flood hasn't reached the highway yet. But when it does, we can see the water level online through the link I'm leaving in the description box, and it will uh, most likely peak within 2-3 days. And the days after that will determine how things go. Will this be enough to trigger Grimshot once again? And like I mentioned in my last update, it will be extremely hard to do any photoshooting. And my camera trigger finger has been a bit itchy this afternoon. So I've been thinking about ways, if this goes all the way, how to uh, do any photoshooting. Sightseeing flights might not be possible. The visibility up there isn't always good. And uh, then we have the ash that limits us a lot. But the ash cloud could however be the best photo subject that you could get. And uh, I do have a photo assignment in East Iceland and I've been trying to find some uh, days with good visibility to finish that one. But this is how it looked uh, here in the north just uh, before the weekend. But after the weekend, after the storm, it looked like this. The leaves are almost gone but the snow might uh, be gone tomorrow as well. But it didn't stop me to put the studded tires under the car today to be ready to move east when the call comes. But uh, unfortunately, I was not the only driver in town to get that idea. And the Icelandic extremes kicked in. But I'm at least uh, ready for the next tour. And on the map, it might look uh, roughly something like this. From the north to east Iceland. And from there to the south coast or just south from Vatnajökull Glacier and Grimsvatn Volcano, 50 kilometers away from a highway, and uh, wait for the eruption. But the last time I got the timing right, I drove to Reykjavik the day before the eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula started, and uh, managed to upload some of the first images from there, even though the drone range was bugging me a bit. But the drone will not be useful this time, and all we can do is to hope for good visibility, and I do have a good zoom lens, and even this extender to it, or in total 640 millimeters of lens zoom, and some digital zoom as well, but that's less quality. But what I want to do is to capture the lightning show in the ash plume.
it's simply one of my dream shots. And the reason for that is simply this day, while I was driving by Eyjafjallajökull in 2010 during the eruption, but I had a crappy camera and far away from the quality that I have today. So according to my simple calculations, it's 50 kilometers to Grimshot from the nearest highway. And this image from 2010 is shot 30 kilometers away from the Eyjafjallajökull volcano with a crappy zoom. I have a chance not to see the fire itself, but the ash plume and the lightning. That will be something. And uh, I never forget this evening after I had been driving back and forth the Eyjafjallajökull eruption. And as it got dark, the lightning started in the ash plume. And uh, I could not capture it, not with the camera I had. And uh, we might perhaps say that I have never recovered and that evening might just be the biggest reason why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Or to try to capture moments that never come again. Big moments. But it is also a good idea to be respectful when it comes to Grimshot. It's a volcano in the same fissure system as Lakagigar. But the eruption there in 1783 was one of the largest during historic times. The Grimshot in the part of that fissure system erupted at the same time and... We did also get an offshore eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula, all between 1783 and 1785. So this is one of our top four most dangerous systems, if not the worst. And Grímsvatn is Iceland's most active volcano, so we should hope that the pattern continues, that Grímsvatn releases some of its energy at regular intervals and keep us safe from those massive eruptions that can affect the rest of the world. So as usual, never a dull moment. And with that, I'm sending you best regards from a volcano island, Iceland.